What's up guys? It's Jake Coburn here. I wanted to talk to you today about this uh, magical book called The Artist's Way and to tell you a little bit about how this book has influenced and inspired me as an artist. Really, the core of the book is about overcoming resistance. It's more than a book. It's a system, almost like a 12-step program or a recovery program. Only it's a recovery program geared to affect people who are uh, in creative recovery. I first did this course in 2014. I had a pretty um, intense period of time in which I was involved in an unhealthy relationship that really drained a lot of my creative energy. And I found myself so consumed by the relationship that I wasn't really making art anymore and I felt really creatively blocked. My partner wasn't supportive of me and the kind of stuff that she was saying at the time really affected me and my creativity. But I knew that something was wrong. I knew that I was an artist, that I was destined to fulfill my potential as an artist. And so I gravitated towards the artist's way I'm not really sure how I first discovered it, but it had a huge impact and it really helped me with the creative blocks that I was experiencing. As I did the course, as I did the exercises, as I reflected on the contents of the book, I found myself becoming more and more creatively liberated and having more and more energy that I could devote to my creativity. I found myself, for example, waking up in the middle of the night with so much energy unable to sleep and I would go and I would draw at you know two in the morning sometimes for hours and hours in the middle of the night I felt on fire with inspiration it really helped it really made a huge impact and I've also spoken to a lot of other people who have said that this book has really impacted them and really helped them it has so influenced my view on creativity and my view on art and how I relate to my own creative process and I reference the book frequently within my own workshops and when I work with students. And that's why I wanted to create a course that was specifically based around it. And as far as I know, the Artist Way course with a team of myself and many other amazing and fully realized creative geniuses has never been taught like this before. So it's unprecedented and it's going to be groundbreaking and it's going to be really amazing. But I wanted to speak to you today about one of the central components of the book and something that we're going to be focusing on in the course, which is the idea that creativity is something that arises from outside of us. Something that was blocking me and what blocks a lot of people is our attachment to the products and the fruits of our creativity because we identify with them. The truth is that what comes through us as a creative being isn't really our doing, it's not really our product. We are a tool or an instrument for a creative spirit to work through us and to move through us. And the way in which an artist becomes inspired inspired meaning to be filled with spirit is to make yourself a clear vehicle a clear channel for this creative spirit to move through you in the book they prescribe doing these automatic writing exercises and this gets you in the process of just creating without attachment to what you're creating i think that this is really important regardless of what your creative endeavor is regardless of whether you want to be a writer whether you want to be a painter whether you want to be a public speaker or a podcaster or a dancer or whatever. It's to engage in the creative act and to show up for it and to start creating and to go full-heartedly into your creative process without attachments to what the end result of this is. So you're not trying to create a painting that's going to make you be famous or isn't going to make you a bunch of money or isn't going to get you into a museum or something like this. You just surrender to the creative process and allow the creative spirit to possess you and to then 
act as a channel for the spirit to move through you. And this is something that we know how to do naturally because I think it's what kids do. I think that kids are very spontaneous and very playful and very authentic and fearless in their expression. But we accumulate traumas and through these traumas we accumulate blocks. A lot of the blocks that we accumulate are voices from other people like our teachers, our parents, people that aren't supportive and nurturing to our creativity for a variety of reasons. My experience with this course is that it specifically addresses the roots of these issues and it helps to clear these blocks directly so that you can be a clear channel for the creative spirit to move through you. The impact that it's had in my life and on my creativity has been magical, transformational, miraculous. And so I want to help facilitate this for other people because I really believe in the, the power and the efficacy of this method, of this course, of this process. So starting July 16th, I'm doing this online course, Unleash Your Inner Artist, which is based around the curriculum that is outlined in the Artist's Way book. And I really hope that you choose to come aboard this journey with us. I think it's going to be profound, life-changing. I am also going to engage in the process um, the same as everybody else. And I'm really excited to see how that impacts me and how that affects my creative work. I know it's going to be challenging and there can be a lot of fear, a lot of hesitation, a lot of resistance into doing something like this if you have believed for a long time that you're not creative or you're not worthy of pursuing a creative art form. It can be very difficult to challenge that and to dive into it, but it's going to be so worth it, so worth it, and the transformation that you're going to experience is going to be so great. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me, and I hope that this core idea that I spoke about today, about us being a conduit, a channel, a vehicle for the creative spirit to move through us rather than the originator of the products of our creativity because the products of our creativity do not originate from inside of us. Where does a song come from? Where does a painting come from? Where does an idea come from? I believe that we are receptacles for these ideas and that we are channels and receivers for these ideas but that we are not the ones that produce the ideas ourselves. And the more tuned in, the more tapped in, the more you can cleanse yourself to be a clear channel for these ideas to move through you, the more inspired you're going to be, the more creative you're going to be, and the more transcendent, profound, and universal your ideas will be as well. So really looking forward to having you come aboard this journey with me and my dream team of incredible artist friends who are also going to be guiding and facilitating this journey, such as Chris Dyer, Izzy Ivey, Paul Masvidal, and many others who are jumping aboard as we speak. I hope wherever you are today that you feel inspired and creative and that you have much ease and peace of mind, and I hope you have a blessed day. Much love, guys.